So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure uh, NeoVim to use Molten NVim, which would allow you to use the IPython notebooks or Jupyter notebooks uh, and run them inside of NeoVim. So first, let's open up our uh, plugins directory for the NeoVim. So if you do NVim, find init.lua. So my init.lua contains the lazy, which I am using, the lazy.nvim to actually load all of the plugins. What I'm, I've done here is that I have a custom folder which holds all of my plugins. Uh, in my plugins folder, uh, it has all of the Lua files, which I would heavily suggest you to make a plugins directory and have all of your plugins in a separated Lua file so that you can configure each of them uh, individually and you don't actually uh, make a very big uh, config file oh, sorry a plugin file the first step would be to actually install the image.nvim plugin so i will open up this art and you see it's a very simple configuration where i am just um, installing with lazy the name of the plugin and some op uh, opts which are actually necessary so you can just copy it from here I'll just make it a bit bigger. the second step is actually configuring a, in, a virtual environment wrapper in our bash file so I'm using Mac so in the screen you can see a wrapper function which you can actually copy and click paste into your ZRC file uh, and that will allow you to actually have a, a small commands of creating virtual environments and activating and deactivating them. So once you have set up the uh, virtual activation wrapper in your uh, ZRC, ZSHRC file, uh, then uh, I will, the suggestion is to make um, a virtual environment called NeoVim because that will be pointed in. So using the small command, so it's just uh, this part make virtually uh, make venv which we have defined in our wrapper new of it if i enter there's i guess an already uh, existing one uh, i believe if i go to yaz and go to venv there is already a new of them so that's what i'm trying to show you the next step is to uh, activate the environment using venv new of them so this activates the environment that we're currently in right now we are currently in the new vim environment next up we need to install all of the dependencies shown in here from all of this the most important part which must be installed is the pynv and the jupyter client pynvim and the jupyter client and the rest of the these are optional but i'm installing this because uh, i don't have anything to lose so it's already the requirements are already satisfied for me because i've already installed it now in your NeoVim configuration, you need to point this virtual environment directory. So let's go to the NeoVim configuration. So config npm. Yeah, at the end, at the end, you can see I've already added it. That's the last line uh, where I'm just uh, I'm just pointing to the virtual environment that I've just created, which is the NVIM bin Python. And this uh, step is actually necessary. Now, when you are working on your personal projects, you don't, of course, have to work in the new uh, environment. You have you have to create your own personal environment. For that reason, what we need to do uh, when you will create uh, your own virtual environment, uh, then you need to actually uh, go uh, install the Python kernel and actually point uh, actually in, use the IPython kernel uh, to use your project name in this case this example is given into the project name so this must be done when uh, whenever you are uh, making a new uh, uh, working on a new virtual environment but but uh, to work around this you you can automatically launch launch the corrected kernel uh, if you put this key map into your key maps folder so what that's what I'm, i have done so if i go to uh, and into the key maps 
uh, you can see at the end yeah. here uh, I have added this line to my keymaps.lua file uh, this particular file which is actually found on their github github uh, tutorial section so I've copied this and put it into the keymap so I just put a uh, space or in my case the leader key the leader key so leader IP to actually like select the kernel which I will be working on in my uh, ipython notebook files the next part is actually installing the molten plugin what we are going to do is to uh, I'll show you where I have that so I've got this molten.lua where it's just a very small part of the file I'm just updating it it's according to the uh, github uh, readme so I've just copied that and pasted it into a separate file and as according to their notebook setup uh, what I did was I copied a few of the options as well as a few of the key maps so that it serves me better when we when I am dealing with the Python notebooks so a few of the key maps is what I am going to show you a few of the options I will go to show you is in here so these are the options and the key maps which are actually given into the repository and which uh, I have copied this part to my uh, options.lua file and I have copied these two blocks of code into my uh, keymaps file so I'm going to quickly show you uh, in my keymaps file where I can search for molten yeah so as you can see the molten keymaps here I've just copied and pasted the molten keymaps here I have specific uh, I, I I did not actually like you know create uh, other key maps except for one which I'm going to show you. But before that, uh, there is a notebook configuration for uh, Jupytex a notebook conversion because we we want to see the notebook and the best way to see the notebook is using another plugin called Jupytex and which I have of course come uh, copied from here and into the plugins. Uh, sorry into the plugins you can see here Jupyter. yes here just that part of the file in a separate separate, a separate lua file I've just put it down and it is there for me and for some reason it opened up in vs code which i do not want that's actually it for uh configuring everything to it. so now when you launch launch the uh new vim it should be like set up with all of the new uh, plugins uh, the lazy will actually uh, install them the new plugins being the image and vim and the molten of course and the jupytex these are going to be installed by lazy and lastly which i have to uh, show you actually how i use it uh, normally uh, right now i'm not sure if it's the best way to use it but this is what i am doing so in the key maps i have this specific function you can copy it from from my screen is that when i press the leader vib it actually selects the entire thing uh entire block block of the python code in uh, entire uh, code cells uh, python cells inside of the jupyter notebooks and uh, when i run it i run it using the spay air leader r key i'm going to show you so th this specific uh, key map actually like when i press this specific key bindings it actually selects it and when it selects it uh, i run it using sp uh, leader R. Uh, I am going to show you an uh, example. So this, so uh, this right here is actually a Jupyter notebook, which I am actually showing you at the moment. And you can see this is uh, completely rendered by Jupytex, and these are the Python cell blocks. It started from the triple code and python and ends with the triple quotes python so what my uh, custom uh, key map does is what it, it selects if i if my cursor is here it selects everything if i for example if i press uh, leader vib it should have selected for leader vib yeah it selects selects and with the leader uh, r i will going to execute this and saying that which uh, kernel I will specify so linking the kernels uh, will prompt you with this so when you press enter if you will use this kernel but it will actually show you an error uh, in this case because uh, some of the uh, maybe some of the paths are not actually seen uh, or uh, maybe so it does not so yeah 
that's actually a good thing. One thing that I forgot to actually uh, set up is the uh, is the interrupt. IK, I can give it to IK later. IK, yeah. So as you can see, it's like uh, running, and uh, there's no way to actually interrupt the kernel. There is a way which I will actually show you is to actually write the molten. Not sure if it's molten in interrupt yeah it is interrupted the kernel as you can see it's just um stops it so i did not have it have it uh, inside of a key bind which i will of course uh, do it now so let's go to the web and if i press c and go to the init of lua and oh, oh sorry go to init of lua open it up i don't think i can find it here rather it is on the lua custom and the key maps so if I, if I open the key maps and search for molten, I will be able to find molten key maps here, right? Uh, right. So in this regard, I will add another key map, which will be set into the normal mode, and it will take uh, will local leader those, and which will take after leader what I press with interrupt kernel. So that's I K for interrupt kernel. Um, so another one of these and the command which will be given is this one and it should be molten interrupt yeah molten interrupt and I think everything ends with CR let's see there's a Y for some reason mm -hmm. interrupt kind of kernel not sure silent equals to true will be the thing but yeah this is how I have added a new keybind let's see if it works Sorry, so let's save and quit and let's see it to work like this and open up Yahtzee or open this up and go to end. So again, selecting the code block space BIB, so it's the entire code block and um, space R actually runs runs it, asks for a kernel. It will not always ask for a kernel, but uh, it asks me for the kernel and it is uh, running for to, to stop it. So the space I and kernel, uh, I did the mistake. So for that reason, I, it should be uh, capital N, then interrupt, interrupt, interrupted, quit, quickly go through the big, this Lua custom key maps, then, so this should be, yeah, replace this with capital N, M, or cancel, they, yeah, and that should solve it uh, if you want me to like you know, test it again. Work this project, open it up, go down below, select VIB, VR, starting the kernel. Let's see if it works. Uh, space, I pay interrupted the kernel so that's how i have set it up so as you can see in this video i have like configured the entire molten it runs uh, it stops so it selects different kernels if you want so yeah uh, if you like this feel free to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial and have a nice day